Hey, what's going on, everybody? So this is Max from X Options. I just wanted to go over what I did today on Webull. So if you look at my Webull account, you'll see I'm about 14,900. I'm down primarily on my Riot shares, a little bit on SOS. I'm up on s and and Workhorse. Um, this is my small account that I only sell covered calls on. Don't pay attention to the losses. Pay attention to that number right here. Realized profit and losses over the last three months selling my covered calls. You can see that I'm up $2,612. That's just under 18% of my account in the last three months, just selling covered calls. I don't ever focus on unrealized gains. Unrealized gains and shares mean nothing to me. Um, so today is payday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell some covered calls. I want to average down first on Riot because I think it's at a major support. It's been showing some good technical analysis here, and I want to lower my overall average price. Um, you could see that I didn't have settled funds, but I don't plan on selling within the next 30 days unless the strike price hits. So you can see at the top right, it says this is a working order. It hadn't quite filled yet. Um, so I'm going to place that, and then I'm going to do the same here for SOS. I want to buy some more SOS shares with the money I have from the shares that exercised of last month's covered calls. So I'm gonna buy 300 here, um, the limit price. I'm gonna switch this to market because the stock was currently falling. So I wanted to make sure that I got a better entry than just setting at 375. And you can see on the top right, that one filled immediately at $3.71. Um, so I have about 3000 on the cash balance with about 70 in buying power because I had just use um, margin to purchase those shares while it takes 24 hours for my funds to settle, which is totally fine. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to SNDL. As you can see, you're going to see at the top left there, I'm going back and forth. Um, you're going to want to open the options chain. This is your options chain on Weeble. Um, I'm going to go down on the July 2nd date, and I'm going to choose the next up strike price. I'm going to switch that buy to sell because we're not buying calls. We're selling them. So once we're selling that premium, 15 contracts here, um, at $23 each, that's a $345 credit. I only have 1,500 shares. That is over 20% ROI. And look at that. It's filled immediately. So that's the power of these covered calls. It's 20% ROI. And the only thing that I'm at risk at is either exercising them and making money, not exercising them and making money and rolling them over. My average price, as you could see, was below a dollar. So I could even do the dollar strike if I wanted and make higher premium. So I'm going to come to the workhorse, my next stock. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to come to the options chain. I'm going to go to July 2nd because I like doing monthlies. Monthlies are just so stress-free, relaxed, and I don't give a shit if they expire worthless or they get exercised because I'm only doing this to collect premiums. You'll see here that I'm going to sell this one for $165 credit on workhorse with my 100 shares. Um, remember, you need 100 shares to utilize this method, but with smaller accounts that you could see with SNDL, you could buy 100 shares for 100 bucks, and you can make 20% back on that 100 bucks just by owning 100 shares. Uh, workhorse, you can see there, uh, I made 165 right on it. It doesn't really get better than this. SOS is another good one. I'm going to uh, do my covered calls here now. I'm down on SOS, but I still want to get out with some profit, so I won't jeopardize the strike price to get out quicker. However, I will just go right above my average. So that's gonna bring me to the $4.50. I have eight of those times 30 bucks because this is options trading and I make another $240. That is filled immediately too. Webull is outstanding with fills. They do give you a lesser price. So you can see when I fill these, I'm almost down immediately. 16% is pretty high, but it's so much easier to get a fill when you just take the 40 bucks off. You think of the bigger picture. Would you ruin a car deal for $10,000 because of an additional 40 bucks? No way, right? You, no one would do that. No one in their right mind. If you really want that car, you're going to pay the 40 fucking dollars. Same principles apply here. Let these people think that they're getting the best deal. Oh, this idiot, I just bought it for 20 bucks less per contract. At the end of the day, you're probably going to expire worthless. And I have an 80% uh, chance of success. So I'm going to come to Riot here. Um, I actually messed up here. I only sold the one contract that I actually, uh, I bought, I have 300 shares now. So I'm going to go back in there and uh, do it again for the other additional two. Riot's another good one, $89 per hundred right there, 178. So those filled almost immediately. Average fill price was 91 bucks. So 
got a little bit better of a fill on that one. So Weeble does a great job of with the fills, keeping track of them. Even though I'm down a little bit there, this is what it looks like now. Um, I have the covered stock, the actual stock, and then the options contract. They link them all up into one bundle, which is phenomenal. They adjust the last and the, or the average price and your, and your PL, and they adjust your market quantity versus the value because of your covered call income. So Weeble does a fantastic job. Another thing you'll notice is my cash balance and my buying power is back up to 1172. So I had just made enough money to add something to the ball game. So I have $1,172 cash. Um, you can reinvest this. You can put 30% away for taxes, 30% for reinvesting and pay yourself 30%. Um, so at that 1172 mark, if I do some quick math, minus 33%, you can pay yourself 386 bucks. 386 bucks with a $14,000 account. This is pretty pretty straightforward way of doing it. Um, instead, I actually go back in and purchase 200 more shares of SOS to try and lower the average even better and get some more covered calls out there. Uh, at the top, you may have just noticed that um, we got fills um, for SNDL as we're doing this. So we're sitting here, we're buying shares, we're selling covered calls, we got cash in the account and uh, we're growing our portfolio consistently. And all we're doing is buying underlying, underlying stock of volatile stocks. Um, this is not a safe portfolio at all. This is extremely high risk. But with the covered call strategy, the only thing you're at risk of is if the company goes bankrupt, as if the company gets delisted, or if the company, really, that's it. I, I mean, I'm sure there's more, um, but you could always just buy in, average down, and keep selling the covered calls. Uh, remember, the whole point of this is that you don't give a shit if they exercise or they expire worthless. If they expire worthless, like I showed you at the beginning of the stocks that rolled over, you just continue to sell more premium. If they exercise, they get called away and you just come in the next month with a nice bankroll. If I started this month with 4,000 because of some of stocks that got called away last month and you just made nice profits and you're ready to roll into the bigger shares. That's it. Remember, um, focus on the realized gains. Don't let the unrealized losses of long-term portfolios bother you. If you're that type of trader, you're never going to make it out long-term alive. You got to remember the long picture. We're doing this for consistent growth. I've been doing this in this account only for two or three months now, and I've managed to make 2,600 on my 14,000. All right. That's huge. So 2,600, if we do some quick math times the 14,000 or 2,600 divided by 14,000, that's an 18.5% ROI, 18.5% just over the first one to three months that I've been doing this. All right. That's it. That's the best way to go about this. And then that you just consistently do this, um, how you pay yourself, risk management, that's all on you. Um, and then I would come down here to my covered call investment tracker that I created. And then you would log everything right here in the investment tracker. This um, is on our website. You can get this anytime. You can purchase this. It lets you know how much your unrealized gains and losses are. This is what I do for my big account. This is my big account here, um, not the small one, but you can see easily non-exercise. You're able to get around five and a half percent all the way up to about 17, 18 percent month over month consistently using this strategy. Um, enjoy, guys. I just wanted to show everyone how I do it on Webull. Webull is my small account. I only do covered calls. I don't do any spreads, naked calls, puts, advanced options, strategies, nothing. I don't. I just simply buy volatile stock and I sell covered calls on it. When the premiums look good, I go either, I would say a minimum of bi-weekly to monthlies. And um, that's it. You collect the premiums. If they you come back next month and they're gone, they're gone. If you come back next month and they're still there, sell some more premium and get ready to uh, make more moves. And that's how you compound, make good money, passive income, trade stressless, and uh, 